What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a uh, Defender, I think it is, Defender Team Deathmatch. Um, I can just picture the map, but I can't think of its name. I'm pretty sure it's Defender. But um, yeah, today's Thanksgiving. Um, as you guys know, everybody should know that, that uh, it's American. Um, and I'm pretty sure they celebrate it in other countries, but I'm not 100% sure. So I'm not going to say anything. Um, I know it was started by Abraham Lincoln in like 19 or 1863 or something like that. Um, it was like a call to like an armistice day, uh, just one day to stop fighting and have a meal with your family or if you're a soldier with your with your uh, battalion or whatever you would call it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I'm about to go over my grandma's in about an hour, so. Um, I've just been grinding like all day, working on getting my KF5 diamond. Uh, I got the BAL diamond, and yeah, that's really the update on what my, my day's been. Um, and like I said in earl the earlier video, I'm thankful for my friends, my family, and the fact that I get to go to Catholic school. Um, I, a lot of people sacrifice a lot for me to go to Catholic school, which is great. Um... I'm thankful for every every everything positive that happens in my life. I'm thankful for, even if I may not express it, um, and even if I may seem disappointed with like gifts and stuff like that, I'm still happy about them and I'm thankful for them because it's the thought that counts, not really the uh, what's what's in the box. And um, it's just people showing that they appreciate you and that they love you. If it's your family, if it's your friends, that they that they uh, want to be your friends still, kind of thing um now i've never been one to just buy my friends presents and i've been bad with that so um but like i said it's not always about presents um like my friends always just want money so i just always give my friends money so um and i don't really buy my friends christmas presents and they don't really do the same for me so it's kind of the same thing um but yeah like Today is just a day to be thankful for everything positive that's happened in your life, uh, especially just like the sacrifices that people make for you, um, like the people that are working to make their make other people's days better. Um, kids at my school went to a retire or a, a, a nursing home to prepare and give Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving, uh, I think they did it around lunchtime. Uh, for the older folks and their families. Um, I'm just hoping that they had a good time doing that. Um, only reason I didn't do it is because I wasn't sure when I had to go over my grandmoms. So I didn't want to commit to anything um, and then have to end up going back later or end up leaving early or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's also everybody knows it's a day of football. Um, even the non-football fans probably watch some football. Um, today, the, the Lions play the Bears. The Eagles play the Cowboys. And the Eagles are going to fry the Cowboys. Um, and then the Seahawks play the, the 49ers. So, um, I think right now, the Bears are up, or the, the Lions are up like 31-17 to 17 or something like that. I haven't been watching it. I don't really watch all the games. I just usually watch one, which is um, it's the Eagles play. It's the one I watch usually. I'll check real quick. But um, I know the Seahawks game is at 8:30, um, and the the Detroit games now, and the Eagles game is at 4:30 um, Eastern. So uh, you guys didn't know I'm an I'm an Eagles fan. I'm a huge homer. I like all Philly teams. So. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, the Bears are losing 34 to 17 with two minutes left in the fourth quarter. Um, yeah. It's, I haven't had any of my players play yet. It's going to be weird not having a football game on Sunday, um, or Monday night, like, um, just because I'm not used to it. I think the Eagles have had one Thursday game, though. I'm not sure, though. Um, but yeah, like today's just about football and family, really. Um, and like, even if your team doesn't win, you gotta try to have fun with it. Um, 
you gotta just try to have fun and appreciate that you're with your family and you're around your family. Um, I'm looking at my fantasy team. I haven't gotten any points yet because none of my players have played. Uh, I started Aaron Rodgers, Arian Foster, Marshawn Lynch, Jeremy Macklin, Des Bryant, Jason Witten, jo uh, Jordy Nelson, Steven Hauschka, and the Seahawks defense. If you guys are interested in what my fantasy team is. Um, and then on my bench, I have Nick Foles because he's hurt. Uh, Phillip Rivers, Matt Asiata, he's hurt. Uh, Deshaun Jackson, Jordan Matthews, Zach Ertz. Uh, I really only picked up Deshaun Jackson for one week. Uh, I kind of got to pick up another running back because um, Arian Foster might be might not be playing this week. But that's just uh, my fantasy league. If you guys are interested in that, um, I am in fourth place, four and seven. Um, I've clinched the playoff berth though, so I won't have to do the stake. Uh, and the stake was. Um, the champion gets to choose what happens if um, what happens to the people who didn't make the playoffs, which is Gino and Joe. Uh, right now, it's sounding like a toenail and cheese sandwich is the option that they're going towards, but um, I'm not sure. I'm not really in on that decision. Um, I'm losing right now 5.8 to zero. Uh, I have I have a four and seven record. The guy I'm playing is just Tyler, seven and four. Uh, Phil is playing. Phil, who's nine and two, is playing the two and nine Phantoms, which is Joe. And my dad, who's nine and two, is playing the two and nine Zorxinos, which you can probably guess is Zorx or Gino. Um, so yeah, that's just if you guys are interested in, in what's going on in my fantasy league. Since I've talked about football, um, I'm a huge football and baseball fan. I don't really watch too much baseball just because it's not really fun to watch. But like I'm really up, I really stay up on what's happening. Like I know uh, Hanley Ramirez and what's his name just signed with the uh, Red Sox. I can't think of who. I can't think of the other player who signed with the Red Sox. Um, I know the Dodgers are trying to get rid of Carl Crawford, and uh, he's got a. A limited trade clause, which means he can't be traded. He's got like four teams he doesn't want to be traded to, and then no matter what tra team he's traded to, he can't be traded to the Yankees. Um, it, it's some retarded system that he has in his contract. Um, but Henley Ramirez just signed like I think a five-year or four-year, eighty million dollar deal or something like that. And John Carlo stands and talks of over a three hundred million dollar deal is what I heard. So um, I'm pretty sure it was Pete Rose who signed the first hundred million dollar deal. I don't know who signed the first two hundred million, but uh, I really think there's no reason to pay somebody three hundred million dollars to play a sport, um, even if like even if it takes up nine months of his life. It, I think three hundred million dollars is excessive, especially if you're committing. Like especially if like a hundred million is guaranteed, or like in the NBA, they have guaranteed contracts. So if you sign a contract, you're guaranteed to get that money. Um, and imagine how scary that is, like, if you, if you sign a contract. Oh, there's that turn on on Phil, though! Oh! Oh! Um, if you sign a contract in the NBA, you get, um, you always get that money. So, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that turn on and this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.